the scholar's mother tongue. Once a learned scholar visits the court of Akbar. He says, I have mastery over different languages. He says he can speak many languages fluently. All the courtiers were surprised to listen this. The Pandit makes a challenge to the court. Is there anybody in the court who can find out what my mother tongue is? The courtiers discuss among themselves but could not guess what the Pandit's mother tongue is. When they fail to guess or find out his mother tongue, the Pandit asks the king, so, do you accept the defeat? Then, Birbal says, Well, Pandit, I shall find out what your mother tongue is in a day or two. Then, the Pandit says, Glad to hear that, Birbal. Take your own time. That night, Birbal sneaks into the Pandit's bedroom and finds him fast asleep. He whispers into the pandit's ear. Then he tickles his ear with a feather. Pandit in his sleep shouts, Everadi! So Birbal came to know what his mother tongue is. Next day in the court, Birbal says to the king, Your majesty, the pandit's mother tongue is Telugu. The Pandit in the low voice says, mm, yes. King Akbar is astonished to hear this. Then he says, well done Bebel. But how did you find it out? Bebel says, your majesty, in times of difficulty, a person speaks in his mother tongue. He then narrates the entire incident that took place in the Pandit's bedroom the previous night. The king was very happy. He praises Birbal. Clever Birbal, you have indeed proved your wit again. Birbal said, Thank you, your majesty. The Pandit says, I accept defeat, my lord. Indeed, Birbal is cleverer than me. All the courtiers praise Birbal's wit and cheers him up.